Welcome to Science on Location. Today we are looking at testable questions. Our location today is another metro park. We are headed to Scioto Autobahn. This 120-acre park along the Scioto River near downtown Columbus is a dynamic partnership between metro parks, the City of Columbus, and Columbus Autobahn. Metro parks transform this once industrialized site into a vibrant natural setting with restored wetlands, ponds, and prairies. Amenities include fishing decks, a boat launching dock, playground area, three picnic shelters, a two and a half acre dog park, trails, a 35 foot high climbing wall, and an obstacle course. The purpose of an Autobahn is the conservation of birds, other wildlife, and healthy ecosystems. If you head to the Scioto Autobahn, you have lots of opportunities to see birds and other types of wildlife. We are going to use the Scioto Audubon Park to explore testable questions. A testable question is a specific question where one variable is changed. Testable questions can be tested in an investigation and should produce results that can be observed or measured. They should not include personal opinions. Let's practice with some questions to see if they are testable or not. Here's our first question. How will leaving a gummy bear in vinegar or water change the bear's look? Is that something that we can test? Absolutely, it's testable. Here's our next question. How does the effect of predators affect animal behavior? Is that something that we can test? No, we can't test that. So we would say it's non-testable. Let's look at this question. Do birds often return to the same tree nest? Is that testable or not? It's non-testable. Just like the last question, we can't test these. We might be able to observe them, but we can't set up an experiment to test for results. Let's check out question number four. Does kelp grow faster during the day or night? Is that something that you could test or not? Well, kelp is a type of plant, and that is something that we could test. We could set up an experiment and see when our kelp is growing the most. We could track if it's during the day or during night. Let's check out our last practice question. How does increasing the slope of a ramp affect how far a marble travels? Is that something that we could do? Could we make a ramp and see every time we make it uh, increase if it changes how far a marble would go? Yes, we could do that. We could test it. It's a testable question. Let's head back to the park and see if we can come up with some testable questions inspired by our location. On my way to the obstacle course, I was really, really hot. And I wondered, what locations in the park have the highest temperature? That's a question that I could test by setting different thermometers in the park and checking on their temperatures. That's a testable question. At the wooden balance beams, I noticed some of them were wet while others were dry. So I wondered, do wet or dry surfaces have more friction? That's a question that's testable. When we went to the tire flip, I saw lots of different sizes of tires. And I wondered, does the size of a tire affect its distance when rolled? That's a testable question. When I was climbing to the top of the cargo net, I wondered if the temperature was the same up there as it was on the ground. I wondered, does elevation affect temperature? That's an experimental question that we can test. There are so many testable questions that you can solve by doing experiments. Make some observations and realize some things that you wonder. 
because you are going to be completing your own science experiment at home. Try to think of a question that you can solve by doing an experiment. If you're stuck, look on the internet and see if you can find some examples of some testable science questions. Good luck, have fun, and enjoy the outdoors as you come up with your own testable question.